Hey everybody, Chris Gellner here with Steffes Group. We are in Williston, North Dakota today, standing with Mr. Troy Girolamo, owner of G-Style. Troy, good to have you today. Thank you, thank you for having me. So coming from Wisconsin farm, I'm assuming you guys were smaller farm cattle, those types of things. Tell me a little bit about your background there. Well, now it'd be, it'd be uh, a novelty farm probably, but <laughs> we milk 50 to 100 cows. You know, them years, like when you and I met, if you had a dime or the ambition of half a brain, yep. you made money every day. Yep. There's just so much opportunity. Yep. And, and you know, actually dairy farming did help me navigate the oilfield quite a bit. You know, tell me a little bit about the story of G-Style, the ups and the downs, and how we got to where we're standing today. So the ups and downs of the oilfield, the only way you're gonna ever survive them is you're very navigable. So, and you gotta be very diverse. But the only way we were ever gonna be efficient or make money was stay small enough so it still run like a real business. Sure, yep. You know, we've been up to, at one point, 100 million, like, you know, after 15, there was our down year, and then built back up 16, 17, and then 18 is when we really hit a kind of a burst there, was 17 and 18, and we kind of rode that for a while. And then our goal in 20, was, I was one that, you know, you said goal, you wanna make a million dollars, well, we did sure. that, okay. And I was like, oh, can you imagine we made a million dollars a week, how we did that, so. All right, let's go make two million. Let's do a hundred million a year. So in 20, that was our plan, and we did. The first January was nine million, February was 10 million, March was projected to be a little more, and that was our plan to build it up to that. And then COVID came, uh -huh. and it was worse than 2015. So how many employees was your at your very biggest height? Uh, how, many, how many guys, guys and gals did you have on the road and in March, the office? March of 20, we were at over 300 i think we're at 317 319. wow right there and that was with gst our case company NG. sure yep. sure and what is it really troy what is all under the umbrella of g style because i know you've you've got a lot of irons in the fire that's for sure yeah so the main companies are rough rider disposals so we're the largest um, emp landfill owner in the rocky mountains and then there's gst casing and then g style okay So this is part of this is part of COVID. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> we were ordering uh, T800s, you know, ten at a time. We were supposed to get a group Q2 of of 20. Thank God we did not. We we're supposed to get a, another group of T800s in December of 20. And that's when we found out that Kenworth was no longer making T800s, uh -huh. and that'd be two years before we get a truck. Then Walworth had called in March of 21, and they had these 10 T880s coming off the line. And I had to pick that day if I wanted my color. And of course, like at T800s, we order them, you know, twin air cleaners, twin stacks. Yeah. And my choices were red day cabs with weed burner exhaust. Okay, we'll take them, like, because that's all they had for yeah. the year. They're only 10 for the year. Your options are this so, or nothing. Yeah. So I was a switch to the 880s. Okay. And I thought the T800s were a wonderful oil field truck. This thing's like driving your F250 around the yard. Really? I, the visibility out of them, they, they drive like a pickup. The business, it just kept growing just because I kept pushing it. You know, I I grew up, you know, I grew up such a dirt ball broke dick guy that I still think I was better at being that guy than this guy anyways, but <laughs> you know, it was never about the money, it was just the growth. And then your customers become friends yeah. and vendors become friends. And and now like after fifteen years, you know, I don't have I don't have kids or wife, so there's people at G style, their family. The oil industry's fun business. It's still that's probably the biggest thing between the Bakken and other plays is it's not corporate driven. It's still handshakes. Sure. Everybody knows everybody. Sure. I never, honestly, I'll tell you, I never thought I would live anywhere other than West Central Wisconsin my entire life. Grew up there and I loved it, right? And when I got out here, I was like, oh, maybe not. And now I'll never leave here. I mean, Western North Dakota is peaceful. G style or not, I'll always be here. We're standing in front of a beautiful, beautiful line of red trucks. What made you choose Steffes or think of Steffes when it came time to do this? But they've been doing it forever. They know the business. You know, I don't tell my dentist how to clean my teeth. So I don't need to hire an auctioneer. I need to tell them how to sell my shit. So the guys at Steffes are professional and, and they have a process and that's what's made it easy, right? You're not going to get an opportunity for stuff like this, guys. So, uh, you know, July 30th, steffesgroup.com. We'll see you there. Thanks again, buddy.